Dear friends, ladies and gentlemen, uh, I would say it. My name is Azaman Jamakulov, Deputy Minister of Tourism of Kyrgyz Republic. First of all, of course, I want to uh, give some information about Kyrgyz Republic. Uh, I know that uh, most of all don't know about Kyrgyzstan and you have uh, not more information about Kyrgyz Republic. That's why uh, Kyrgyzstan, Kyrgyzstan, one of the Central Asian republics. Uh, population is about 6 million. Uh, I will, most of all, uh, will explain about tourism of Kyrgyz Republic and then uh, I will give some good examples uh, for today's ZEM. Uh, innovative nation branding, sustainable economies, tourism and the responsible foreign investments. Uh, 2014 and 2016 we did one of the ambitions project in our country called World Nomad Games. And we will talk and discuss about this project. Uh, Kyrgyzstan, uh, of course, tourism site has much to offer. It's a pristine environment, celestial mountains, and the nomadic culture. Uh, I want to, first of all, of course, show a little bit uh, video material about our country, then we will continue. About tourism, uh, tourism in Kyrgyz Republic, uh, I want to explain uh, why you have to visit Kyrgyzstan, uh, why you have to come to Kyrgyzstan, and what kind of things you can do in Kyrgyzstan. Uh, seven reasons uh, to visit uh, Kyrgyz Republic, Kyrgyzstan. First of all, of course, uh, Kyrgyzstan is Celestine mountain countries. 
26 percentage of all areas in Kyrgyzstan is mountains. Uh, three very famous peaks in the world uh, stay, uh, staying half in Kyrgyzstan. This is uh, peaks above uh, 7,000 meters. Uh, second one of this Kyrgyzstan breathtaking mountain lakes. Of course, about 2,000 breathtaking mountain lakes have in Kyrgyzstan, and the second deepest lake, uh, Lake Sekul, uh, have a very famous lake. Uh, it's a touristic zone. Uh, Sekul Lake means Sekul it's hot, hot lake, because uh, never uh, freeze on uh, winter time, because all uh, Sekul water on uh, staying up of mineral resources. That's why uh, hot lake, Sekul Lake, one of the famous lakes in Kyrgyz Republic. Extreme sport, of course. This is uh, rafting, kayaking, climbing. All climbers coming to Kyrgyzstan to do this, and the summer time you, you have you can uh, you have opportunity to enjoy rafting and kayaking in our country. Great Silk Road, uh, second uh, country of Silk Road after China, about uh, 500, uh, 5, uh, five thousand historical and the cultural places in our country. Three roads of Silk Road uh, include UNESCO lists 2000, 2014. Antigua and the Sacred Places. Uh, who is know what is it uh, on, the, on the picture? No? This is petroglyphs. Uh, you know about that, that our uh, dead uh, draws uh, in ancient time on, on, the, on the stone. That's why uh, one of the biggest uh, uh, open museum of petroglyphs staying in, in our country. Epos Manas, Epos Manas, biggest eposes in the world, uh, 20 times longer than Homer's Iliad and Odyssey. Uh, Epos Manas uh, explaining about uh, heroes of our country, uh, life of all, the, all, all this hero. Uh, and the, some people coming to, to our country to uh, search uh, this, this episode. Uh, nomadic culture. Uh, nowadays, today, some peoples, uh, Kyrgyz peoples, are going to mountain meadows, live over there in these yurts, and the tourists all of those coming to, to live like these yurts without internet, without TV, uh, just enjoying uh, nature life. This is a little bit uh, about our country. Uh, second, uh, second project which we want to explain and which we want to present to you is World Nomad Games. Each country, each ethnosis, nations have unique culture. Uh, 21st century is a century of globalization and the many different of cultures uh, become uh, disappear under influences of globalization. That's why one of the big uh, purposes of World Nomad Games is preservation of this uh, culture, these traditions, customs, and the uh, ethnic sports. We started 2014 World Nomad Games. Uh, participating countries was from 19 countries. And the, we start with nine national, uh, dif different type of national games. There was about 150 representative of mass media from all, all over the world. Uh, 2016, there was 23 type of national games. And the uh, sports athletes from 62 countries. In the world have different type of national games. It's Asian game. European games, Turkey games, American games. In the 2018, uh, we're going to collect all the best national games in one place, in Kyrgyzstan. And we want to, if you have some, if you will have some opportunity to come to visit uh, on September 2018, to visit our country and to visit World Third World Nomad Games. Thank you.
thank you very much, sir, for um, coming to be today with us and for showing us these so interesting uh, uh, videos from your yeah. incredible, uh, beautiful country. If you let us now just to take a uh, um, question and comments from our audience. Yeah. Thank you very much. Yes. Uh, thank you for your presentation. Uh, my first question is, do we need visa for Kyrgyzstan? Like Schengen area, <laughs> Europe? Uh, no. Uh, okay. We have visa-free regime for 61 countries from all the world. Okay. And my second question is, uh, in what sense do you like gather all the national games? Because like from the video, there are just some... Uh, national like Kyrgyzstan games yeah no games yeah. in what way do you like you plan to gather uh, games from uh, other nations yeah uh, now uh, we create one organization uh, world confederation of world ethnic games this confederation is working to uh, see and did to uh, search all the best national games uh, from different continents. And the, uh, we will collect uh, Asian games, Turkey games, European games. Uh, maybe uh, 2016 we did uh, with 23 games. In 2018 maybe it will be uh, more than uh, 35 national games from all over the world. We're collecting all national, just, just on, only national games because they have Olympic format, Olympic games. Uh, but uh, we thought that uh, they're interesting and they're powerful games in the world, uh, which not include to Olympic games. It's national games, and we our, our goal is collecting. Thank you, that was fascinating. Um, see you next year. But um, is there funding, for example, for um, North African nomadic tribes? Like, is there a funding channel for people who would like to go to the games but can't afford it? Again, please. Okay. Funding? Um, so, some countries, for example, I don't know, Bur nomadic Berbers or Bedouin might want to go to the games, but they won't be able to afford it. So I was asking if there are channels of funding for people, for sports groups of, from countries to attend. If team uh, coming officially, yeah. uh, tickets being as a site and the other accommodations, all uh, accommodation in, this, in our country, we're paying where we are. Yeah. Okay. Yes. Thank you very much, sir, for your uh, wonderful presentation. And yeah, please help me in our sincere gratitude. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you.